Hello and welcome to our Press Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build a beautiful store for clothing, for women clothing like this. If you can see my screen, you can see that I have a beautiful uh, top header, a logo in the middle, menu in the left. Uh, in the right, we have social icons and the WooCommerce functionality, the shopping cart and the uh, cart total and the login details. Uh, then I have a slider or a hero section, then some collections, then a call to action section, then cart categories, then testimonials, and then again call to action, some blogs, and finally the footer. So this is a beautiful template which I like the most. So I'll tell you how you can install a, uh, a website, uh, create a website on WordPress just like this. So first of all, you will need to have a WordPress already installed on your hosting and you are on the dashboard just like this. You can see I have a, a blank uh, WordPress website which do not have any contents yet. So first of all, let's just install, click on appearance theme and click on uh, and install a theme. So uh, currently you can see I have Hello Elementor already installed and active, but I need to add a new theme called Astra. Click on add new. and type in the name Astra and press enter. Install Astra theme. After installing, click on activate to activate this theme and then we will need a plugin called Astra Sites. So uh, after activating this theme, go to plugins and click on add new search for Astra sites and press enter click on install now for Astra site templates and activate it after activating Astra site starter templates plugin you will have a new menu in appearance called starter templates. So click on starter templates. Now we have to choose the templates we need. So uh, the template I showed you in the beginning of the video is this one. This, this, uh, this is a party wears uh, and a designer, a dress designer theme. So in the selection, template selection, go to e-commerce select e-commerce theme and scroll down and search for look for the designer fashion designer and it is the same template uh, which I showed you so click on this you can upload your logo right away from here uh, this is the logo and if you upload a new logo this will be replaced you can adjust the width of the logo but uh, you can do it later so currently I have to skip it and continue. Uh, you can change the colors. Currently it's gray on black, uh, black, uh, black on gray. So you can choose red on black. You can choose pink, you can choose yellow, green, but uh, this one suits the most. So I leave this. You can also change the font family, the font size, click on continue, skip and continue. leave this leave this uh, import content okay click on submit and build my website it will take a couple of minutes or even more uh, like five to six minutes so let me just pause this video right here and i'll be back after uh, completing this step and please remember that after this step uh, the website the template will be completed and i'll show you how you can edit the home page and how all other pages like shop page, checkout page, cart page, how they looks. So uh, please stay with me and I'll show you how to edit them. After completing this wizard, uh, it will show you this message where you can see your website, click on view your website and uh, you will see that all the contents, all the uh, demo website is now downloaded on uh, your hosting. So here you can see the menu, the top menu, the bottom menu, the slider and all these sections. So uh, all the products are also imported, the dummy products. Now 
uh, I'll show you how you can edit the home page and how you can upload the logo or change the logo. So go to the dashboard again and click to exit to dashboard. Click on appearance and customize to uh, change the logo. Go to header builder and uh, if you hover on header you can see that uh, every every item have its own pencil sign so if you click on pencil sign for logo it will uh, take you to that logo change so click on change logo and upload your own which will be immediately be visible on the header Let's upload this one. It's just a sample, so no matter which logo I choose, it will be visible. Click on skip cropping and the logo will immediately be changed here. Okay, now you can change the width of the logo right from here. This is the maximum size of the logo. That is why it's not increasing from 100, 125. I think 100 is the maximum width for this. Okay. Now, if you uh, go to the footer, then you can also see that uh, these things are editable. If you click on this section, the pencil sign for this section then you can see HTML uh, th th there is a HTML editor and you can choose the uh, text for here this is the text you can change it here you can uh, edit the logo click on this you can choose the layout uh, there are four columns so one two three and four there are uh, the social media icons there is the uh, text editor there is the logo editor if you click on information then you can choose the title for this you can add a link if you click on this pencil sign there is a menu about me my store my store you can uh, remove the invalid links from here just click here and remove it click about me and remove it because these pages doesn't exist and they are listed here so we will remove the invalid links similarly change this menu similarly this address click here and it will open uh, that widget area where you can change the text for this Here is the text. If you edit this, it will reflect immediately on this section. So this is how you can change header and footer. Now, if you click on publish and then exit to dashboard. And come to the home page. And now let me show you how you can change the home page contents. So click on edit with Elementor. I'll open this in a new tab so that uh, my actual home page is already uh, loaded in this, this, this previous tab after the element builder is loaded you can see that every section have its own edit sign so uh, for this section you can see the background is applied on the whole row if you click on these dots then click on style you can see that the background image can be changed from here click on background overlay it's it it is the background image so click on this column if it's not there click on style and the background image is here it's it was not on the row it was uh, behind the column so here you can uh, change the thumbnail size which is full right now so you can change the position you can change the um, attachment you can change the display size contain default auto cover or anything you want but uh, it contains 
the whole image in proper way that is why the contain is uh, good now we have another row within that row and we have two columns in which this column have the contents so uh, this one is a separate element this one is a separate element and this one is a separate so if you click on this one then you can change this title party wears one or any change you want uh, if you want to reduce the size, uh, I think it's a little bit big for me. So come on style and click on typography and choose the size of this text. So 85 is good for me. Now click on pencil sign for this and you can change the text. This text is editable here. If you click on this button, you can uh, change the link of this button. You can change the text of this button, shop the collection, shop the collection. Okay, the, the, the button style. You can change the size of the button. Uh, you can add an icon. If you uh, choose this icon, then you can add an icon to this button. You can uh, also add a button ID here. If you want to add a class to this button, then go to advanced and scroll down in the layout section CSS ID and the class you can also add ID and class here so scroll down to the next section uh, here you can see nothing but if you come to the front end then you can see there are some collections from WooCommerce but if you click here you will see that there is a short code element of Elementor and the short code is from WooCommerce so product limit four columns four order by ID descending and visibility visible so only those products will be available here which is visibility is visible and uh, there will be four four uh, products okay now scroll down to the next section and this one you can see this is a quite fancy um, section which have a custom padding and margins so if you go to this column you can go to style and advanced and see the margins are zeros right top and bottom but on the left it's 80 but if you click here on this column and go to advanced you can see the top is 144 top padding is 144 uh, and the right bottom and left is zero so this is how they adjusted this image like this uh, and similar to the hero section if you click on this title you can change it if you click on this text you can change it if you click on this button you can change the link the um, style the placement and the title as well similarly these are the categories so these are individual image boxes if you click here you can change the image you can uh, link it to a custom URL or the media file the media file means this uh, current image will be opened in a new tab but if you click on custom URL, you can add your own URL and it will redirect to that page if you want. Uh, but I think this one, this tops will be linked to that category. So you can change this link right here. Uh, you can just type, start typing a category name or shoes or clothes. And it will uh, load the pages and you can choose it from the list. Just like that and choose it it will automatically place that link or you can just copy a page link from there and paste it here so currently let's leave it as a hash and all these categories will be set up uh, in the testimonials the title is uh, just like previous if you click on the title you can change it right from here but if you click on this testimonial section then this is a custom element for Elementor where you can add text here you can change image here you can uh, change the name of a person, you can add the uh, image of a person and similarly for this one, this is a separate uh, second element and this is third and this is fourth element which is all uh, separate elements. For this call to action, if you uh, see that these are also separate elements and quite self-explanatory, if you click on any of these items, you see these are editable uh, easily from the left hand side. And for the blog, uh, these are also separate elements so if you click on one of them you can see image box the title of the image the text for the image and the link for this this box if somebody clicks on this uh, you can add a link and they will redirect uh, they will be redirected to that block 
so uh, this was all for today's video i hope you learned something please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos thank you